through the writings and YouTube videos by Terence McKenna and Graham Hancock, I became aware of ayahuasca. And then a friend of mine, Casper Griff, wrote a blog on his experiences going through the Amazon jungle taking ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is a brew that is made up of two plants that they boil together for something like 12 hours until most of the water has evaporated. It's a traditional medicine that the shamans in the Amazon jungle utilize in order to free people of their, their demons and all the nonsense in their brains and bodies. One of the strongest hallucinogens on the planet. In 2009, I went with my girlfriend to the Amazon jungle to participate in the ayahuasca ceremonies. We went to a lodge near Puerto Maldonado. It's in a nature reserve next to the Madre del Dios River, which means Mother of the Gods. And our ayahuasquero the shaman that uh, presided over the ceremonies, his name was Don Panduro. The first night we did it, we crossed the river to a sandbank across the way from the lodge. And this river is about a kilometer broad, it's absolutely huge. At first Don Panduro uh, cleansed everybody's chakras with smoke sticks, with incense with a natural incense of some sort and he did some chants and crosses and god knows what else and then each of us got a, a, a small cup of, of um, ayahuasca to drink at first nothing happens for the first 30 minutes and you walk around and you can take photographs and then he tells you you've got to sit down and everybody has a mattress and a bucket and, and, some, and a roll of toilet paper which you have no idea at that point yet what you're going to do with it. And then after about 30 minutes he starts singing. Dominanti mundo entero pura pura medicina Pura pura ratita y misito padre mio diosito y ni And suddenly the moment you close your eyes this whole visionary world opens up. Something like from your dreams, but extremely vivid and extremely um, encompassing it, something that takes you over completely. The taste of the ayahuasca is some, like something from a horror movie. It is the most bitter, sour, foul tasting stuff you will ever ingest if you do in your life. And it makes you want to vomit. It kind of, you immediately you start to feel like you might start retching. And soon after these images start appearing, you do actually have to get up and vomit and then you realize what this plastic basket is for. <laughs> the journey into this other dimension lasts about four hours in which you are taken to places which you cannot imagine. At some point I was taken to the underworld and shown what things look like um, that are so-called dead, but that are not really dead. At some point I was taken to a higher world where things were, were almost not material at all. What I saw were figures in castle-like structures that were, to me, a, a mixture with something bizarre between a uh, Spongebob and a casino and a disco there's these flashing lights all the time and a lot of the figures, the, the beings, look like um, insects with horns. At some point you feel as if you're dying. 
I felt like I was dying and I was sucked deep down into the earth. Um, but it wasn't kind of very traumatic and afterwards I had the, a very, very clear sense of, of rebirth, of having been, of having died and being reborn again. The stars whisper. You never die. The colors that you see in the hallucinations in ayahuasca are very much the kind of colors that I use in my paintings, that I've actually always used in my painting. Doing ayahuasca verified to me that I was on the right track. And one night I also worked with, with the chakras, uh, where the colors and the, the areas in the body that, that are affected. And I had a very, very clear sense that this was something real on that plane. After doing ayahuasca, it became very clear to me what to do with my um, series Lucid Dreaming. The Amazon jungle is truly a place of wonder and you can see the multiplicity of Mother Earth, the plants, the animals, the insects and it's this warm, humid, fertile place where everything is born. Ayahuasca really connects you with Pachamama, Mother Earth and it, after this, the experiences you really want to kiss the earth and roll in the earth become absolutely one with your mother the earth again. Santa Tierra Pachamama Santa Tierra Pachamama Poderosa y poderosa tú Poderosa medicina tú after doing ayahuasca, I became a lot more focused and together, and I knew exactly what I want from my life and my environment. On the final night, Don Panduro performed a shamanic wedding for us. So I went to the Amazon jungle with a girlfriend, and I came back with my wife. Amen. 